But first of all, we thank God. And we thank God for you because uh, God gave you to this country, this great country of Kenya, so that you can add value, make a difference. And because of you, you've given us, Raymond, to work with you. So we thank God, but we also thank you. We thank you because today is the fourth time that you visited Nyanza. I remember when you became president, it was Homer Bay was the first place you ever visited. <laughs> then you came again in January, Mr. President. Then you came again sometimes in March when you went to Kisi and you went to Korea. And today you are here. It is love and fathomed. It is commitment on your part. And as you said when you visited us, that Kenya must be one, Kenyans must work together, and Kenyans must move forward together. We are aware that you became president at a very, very difficult time in the world economy, in the global economy, because things were going south. And whatever difficulties we've had is just not in Kenya, it's across the world. But Mr. President, we like your fortitude, we like your commitment, because he said, when you're in a hole, especially an economic hole, you stop digging, you come out. So as people of Homer Bay, we want to urge you, pale uko ndio tuko. And there are people who probably haven't seen the signs, but things have changed. 